Even the most intrepid traveller and wildlife enthusiast can never be completely prepared for an encounter with the world's largest mangrove expanse, the Sundarbans, or beautiful forest. The area is a wonderland for tourists and a hub for naturalists, scientists and photographers. Since time immemorial, the ecological significance of the Sundarbans has been upheld by scholars and researchers, and even though it has been explored extensively, the deltas have retained their mystic aura. The mangrove forest originally measured 16,700 square kilometers 200 years ago. It has now dwindled down to 9,630 square kilometers, of which approximately 4,262 square kilometers falls in India and the remaining in Bangladesh. It sustains a unique ecosystem with two high tides and low tides each day. Both these tides follow each other at an interval of six hours. The Sundarbans doesn't only sustain a unique ecosystem, it affords protection to the city of Kolkata, barely a hundred kilometers away. The mangroves here prove to be a barrier from, uh, for the city from cyclones and tidal waves. When the tidal water recedes, a vast amount of alluvium is left behind. It gives rise to mud flats on the banks of rivers, creeks and channels and is vibrant with life. The mud flats are a feasting ground for birds and a variety of crabs such as the mud crabs, the tree crabs and swimming crabs. At high tide, the mangrove appears to rest on the surface of water, but with the ebbing tide, the shiny black mud banks get exposed, showing the fantastic tangle of stilt roots. These roots are important aerating organs for the roots buried in the mud. The inherent feature of mangrove flora species is that it sustains itself in saline water conditions. Its root systems are aerated with numerous lenticles along with stilt roots and pneumatophores. Glassy, leathery, dark evergreen leaves minimize transpiration. Another unique adaptation of mangrove species is a process known as viviparous germination. In this process, the germination of seeds into seedlings takes place while attached to the parental plant. These seedlings grow almost 12 inches before they detach themselves from the mother plant. They plummet to the ground and get implanted in the suitable muddy substratum and grow into individual plants. Of the 102 islands that comprise the Sundarbans in this area, 54 of them are inhabited by over 4 million people. But this area now faces its greatest challenge of rising seawater levels and climatic change. The Sundarbans is intersected by a complex network of tidal waterways and mud flats. These rivers and creeks are the meeting place of salt water and fresh water and the region of transition between fresh waters of the river originating from the Ganges and the saline waters of the Bay of Bengal. But due to the rise in the level of riverbeds and siltation in the upper streams of the Ganges, the rivers and tributaries that flow into the Indian Sundarbans carry more silt in water compared to the Bangladesh Sundarbans. As a result, more saline waters enters the Indian Sundarbans that is having a threatening impact on the mangrove communities. Its terrain is difficult and hostile, but its unique ecosystem provides extensive habitat for wildlife. There are over 250 species of birds and 64 mammals including dolphins, crocodiles and cheetahs are found here. Of these, the Royal Bengal Tiger is at the center of wildlife management and tourism development. The hostile forest environment leaves the tiger with no choice but to devour whatever they chance upon. This sometimes includes human beings and perhaps why it has earned the stigma of man-eaters. To cope with the riverine and tidal conditions of the Sundarbans, it has learned to swim. Tigers can often be seen swimming rivers as wide as one kilometer. The Sundarbans ranks as amongst the first nine wildlife reserves of India and was brought under Project Tiger in 1973. The census of 2004 indicates that there are at least 270 tigers in the Indian Sundarbans. This reserve was declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1987 and a Biosphere Reserve in 1989. If we want the largest mangrove and one of the world's largest carbon bank to be included in the list of the seven wonders of India, give your vote for the Sundarbans.